In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a point of intersection using the TI-83 or TI-84 family of graphing calculators. So the functions that I'm going to be calculating the point of intersection for are y equals 1 fourth x squared uh, and y equals 2 cosine x over 2 plus 1. Um, so we take a look at their graphs. So we can see our parabola graphed in blue and our uh, cosine function graphed here in red. Um, so it looks like they intersect roughly at about uh, two and a half comma two somewhere over here and negative two and a half comma two. So, uh, but I have a feeling it's not going to be exactly those points. Um, we can get a kind of a sense of where this would be using the trace feature. So if you click trace and you just kind of use your arrow to get over close to here, we can see we're sort of in this area here, um, but it's not super accurate. Uh, using the up and down key toggles between your functions that you have uh, typed into your y equals. So we're not all that super close. I mean, we're close, but we're not super exact. So I want to find a way to calculate better this point of intersection. So to do that, you're going to get into the calculate menu by doing second and then hitting trace. And we're going to choose option five. This is going to calculate a point of intersection. Um, now, when it's saying first curve, essentially that's just you're selecting the first of the curves that you're trying to find a point of intersection for. You just pick any point on your curve. Uh, for the second uh, curve, again, you're just picking any point on your curve. Now, when it's asking you for a guess, essentially it just wants you to put your cursor as close to your point of intersection as you can. Because if your graph has multiple points of intersection, you're kind of telling it where you want it to make that guess or make that calculation. So somewhere around here, right? If I put my cursor over here, I'd calculate this point of intersection, but this is directing it to calculate that one. So when I hit enter, it tells me that my point of intersection for these two curves is at uh, 2.5308, 1.6013 or 19, or, or 13 or 12. Um, so this would be that point there. And then you can do the exact same thing, go through that process again to calculate the other side, right? So second trace, choose option five for a point of intersection. Um, first curve, so it's this. And look, it doesn't even have to necessarily be near it. So first curve, second curve. And then if I want to calculate this point of intersection, I just move my cursor over here, hit enter, and you would see I get my second point of intersection. Uh, it looks pretty much the same as this other one because of the symmetry of both of these functions, but the x-coordinate is just negative. Hope this helps.